I know that they lasted. They lasted. They lasted. Now, men are killing themselves at higher rates than um, women. Do you think that speaks to anything? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a new batch of, of sensitivity out here that, you know, <laughs> we just don't have the same, we don't have the same testicular fortitude that used to exist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, is it that with men, in speaking to the suicide rates of men? Can we come to you after? Is Go it? Ahead, is it a situation that men are afraid to say that they want and they need more emotional stability and happiness? Because that's what it sounds like. Hmm. They don't have the space to share that. Right. To be vulnerable, to say, this is what I want. This is what I need. Why? <laughs> because of comments like that in the testicular fortitude. Uh-oh. <laughs> because I actually think it takes a lot of fortitude to, as a man and as a heterosexual man, which clearly I'm not, <laughs> but it takes a lot for a straight man to verbalize how he feels. We're not given the space as men to, to feel anything. That's why when you see men, especially in Africa, when you see men in Africa in these nations and they hug each other and they're showing affection, it's not question over there. Bring it to America, bring it to a black man in America, and it's, oh my God, they're hugging. Well, they must be gay. Da, 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 da. It creates this internalized response that I have to harbor all this shit for myself so that when I break down and I have nobody else to run to, I then turn to suicide. If I'm not turning to misplacing my anger or my aggression and whooping somebody else's ass. Hmm. Yeah. yeah if- I, think that's, I think that's a conversation that men have had internally amongst themselves from the beginning of time. Um, I think today the suicide rates are higher or maybe more exposed than what they were in the past because that's a that's a viable option for some people, right? Uh, whatever they're dealing with that they feel like they can't overcome, that they can't get past, they now know, oh, this is on the table. Whereas before, that wasn't on the table. Mm-hmm. So now we have, we've opened the door to be more emotionally inclusive. We've opened the door to have our affections seen and heard a little bit more. But what does that come with? Does that come with more suicides by men? Does that come with, I can't handle this, I'm leaving, I'm running, I'm doing... What does that come with? Yeah. I um. So if I could be... Just because I want to make sure that, um, like, you know, we speak with the transparency, right? In, like, an introverted way. Like, sometimes my wife and I had arguments because shit be, like, boiling, right? I got pressure from a bunch of different places. I got 300 indirect reports that need me to help them directly, right? If that even makes sense, right? And then I got people who are weaponizing how they look and trying to demonize how I look if you catch my drift in the workplace, right? I'm aggressive. They're passionate, right? That whole thing, you know? And sometimes I'm just like, God damn, you know? And you don't have a place, you know? But she know me as being like me. And you guys know me so that I don't have to go much further than that. Right. But then sometimes you like you do need a place, you know. Um, And then when it manifests for us, we're comfortable in anger. Right. So we get angry because being sad is some pussy shit. You know what I mean? Um, So, yeah, maybe we do need more. Maybe we need to become more comfortable with that type of stuff. You yeah, know? I think that's. I think that's. I think that's on the platform today. I think we're we're able to do that. I mean, I don't know that. I think the, to Pierre's point before, where people were laughed at or ridiculed for being affectionate or for showing emotion, or for expressing themselves. I think we have to get out of the space where we give a shit about what people think about that. Hmm. Because that's part of the problem, right? We we give a shit. If you ain't feeling it, fuck it. You having a bad day. People have bad days. You know, if you're not feeling good, you're not. You don't want to. You don't want to cop to life today. You just want to check out for the day and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Do it. Excuse my language. I'm cursing a lot. <laughs> but <laughs> you <laughs> I, I I agree with you to that point. But I also think we are speaking from a place of privilege as the young adults and the young professionals that we are. All of us can pretty much sit up here and say what the fuck we want to say to a certain extent without ridicule. We can disconnect. I can say fuck the world if I want to. But for young adults, 
for the kids that are in high school, the adolescents, all those kids, they don't get that opportunity. And they don't get, all they see is what their young ass, dumb ass parents are doing and so on and so forth and what they see on TV. So every, every negative stereotype, and I, I realized that this kind of triggered me for some other shit, but every negative stereotype they see is reinforced. And this mm-hmm. is the stuff I have to fight with them to break down every day because you're right. The, the emotion we express most, we don't even express happiness. It's anger. It's aggression because that makes you a man. Don't yes. smile. We don't smile in photos. It is all about being hard and being tough. So fuck all that weak shit. And again, it just comes off as misplaced anger. You're going to end up in a domestic violence relationship. You're going to end up doing some fucking criminal activity. Or you just might end up offing yourself. Mm. I, uh, P, I, I want to ask you a question, but I want to make sure the points you just made were acknowledged. Like, yeah, those things are comfortable, you know? Um, there's more affection than I think we get credit for. Like if you watch, not to say you know, but somebody said we don't, but like, if you like come to like, we play like flag football and like real football, everybody hugs and you know what I mean? It's like a comfortable place. You'd be surprised. Like when everybody came back together during COVID, like, I mean, I know we all got it from one tournament, but everybody just showing love, you know? And I know amongst my friends, I started us saying, I love you and giving hugs. That's a fact. I know I say that shit the most all the time. Look, look everybody not is showing hating, man. Put him in the put him in the fucking bed. You, get him out. <laughs> you didn't he, start that, man. You, you know were that. the first one. Yeah, I, love you. <laughs> I, I do Him's say when he started. I love you. That's that's. I a, did amongst the my originator. Friends, <laughs> right, he the only the only person that ever said. Look. 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 Hey, they be stuttering this shit. I I, I I love you too. Don't try to sneak it in, nigga. Or they try to say, I love you, boy. You know, you say the boy at the end and make it cooler. No, nah. I love you, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's how, that, that's how they do. That I just say, say happy birthday out. and they say, like, oh, happy born day, happy G day. Like, just yeah, say happy like, birthday. It's okay to say it. And then they say, one of my mans, I'm going to call him out, my man Gooch. He'd be like, you too. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> 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 you too. Say it back, man. Gooch, if you listen and say it back. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? New York niggas, man. They don't want to say it. They don't want to say it. Um, 